Inspired by a 21 grams experiment by the physician Duncan McDougall that hypothesized that um, human soul has a physical weight and therefore attempted to measure it um, after human death, I assumed that even places have a soul. And in 2013 I started to collect small portion of ruins along my travel to forgotten places. Places that were destroyed by negligence, political corruption or even natural disaster. And for each one of those portion of ruins I created a series of ingots that contain them. So the Kapow project is literally an archive of ruins where the souls of historical modern cultural sites are preserved. And because a story is not the only way to read history, and this series of works is an observation of society, and each, each work, each lingot, is not a constructive criticism, but it's reconstructing in a new form what it was um, our history. And the decision made by politics, uh, natural impact, uh, and maybe we're not reimagining those places destructed um, in, uh, in uh, eventually a future. The last Ingo that I created contained the ruins from London and exactly the monument called House by Rachel Whitehead. House was a temporary public sculpture by the British artist Rachel Whitehead and it was located in uh, Grove Road Mile End in East London. And the work won Whitehead the Turner Prize for Best Young British Artist and at the same time, the same year, Key Foundation Art Award for the world's British artist. So if you're wondering how much is the price for Turner Prize, it's £25,000 um, and the Key Foundation is just the double, £50,000. The Monument House, it was created from a Victorian house, the only one that remained after a huge extensive work of uh, redevelopment where the local uh, authority decided to demolish all a series of buildings and create a new park. So, Sydney Gale, which was the last residential uh, occupier of the Victorian house in Grove Road, opposed its demolition and, and continued to live in it while the all, all around buildings were demolished. But he was eventually persuaded to move out and this was the moment when Rachel Whitehead seen the opportunity of take over the building and create her work of art. The monument by Rachel consisted in building a house inside the existing house with a concrete cast of the inside of the entire three-story apartment. The cast was created with 5 cm spray layer of concrete and 25 cm layer of heavier concrete reinforced with steel mesh. And being so heavy, the work was exhibited on the original size of the house. The house became a popular visitor attraction with thousands of visitors per day and graffiti were added on the side reading what for with the enigmatic reply why not. The artwork received rave reviews from critics. Andrew Graham Dixon of The Independent described the work as one of the most extraordinary and imaginative public sculpture. However, it was described as a monstrosity by Eric Flanders, the chair of the local council and a petition demanding it remain permanently received 3,300 signatures. The work of Rachel Whitehead won the Turner Prize in November 1993, but the Council confirmed the decision to demolish it the same day. At the same time as winning the Turner Prize, Whitehead won the Key Foundation Award for War's Example of British Art. And, and Rachel was hesitant to accept the award at first, but the money would have been burned if she wouldn't accept the prize. So she donated half of the money to the housing charity shelter and the remaining in grants to young artists. The thin structure of the house was demolished within two hours on 11 January 1994. And today nothing remains of the artwork, making it one of the most discussed work of the last century. So the ingots I created are materialized symbols of what 
has disappeared like the 21 grams of a dying body. Um, the ingot dedicated to the monument house by Richard Whitehead, as well as the previous ingots, represent the essential form of value that can be transferred or, or stored, like gold bars in a vault. Um, the material that they most of the time use for this uh, cast is concrete, exactly because uh, concrete is a construction material, and in some cases also the reason why those monuments have been destroyed. Um, redevelopments, uh, constructing area, ampliation, um, brown coal excavation and so on. And, and for, for this culture I want to give back to those monuments their dignity by returning what was taken from them. <laughs>